Hi, my name is Thomas Brooks and welcome to this quick Project Expo overview video. One of the standout features of Project Expo is the ability to bring in the Gantt chart from an Estimator Express job, allowing you to then manage the project within this package without having to set everything up manually. To do so, I'm going to go to the Tools tab on the ribbon, select From, the Estimator Express icon, select the job number I wish to bring in, in this case job 63, click OK, and the job will be now brought into the software. You can see the Gantt chart on the right hand side. On the left hand side, all the build phase listed as they are within Estimator Express. On the bottom left, we have the resources, so labor, material, and such, and a histogram on the bottom right. The histogram allows us to see if there is any labor shortfalls as we go looking through the phases. To do this, I'm going to click on labor as the subheader below total, and you can see there now we have blue bars and red bars. Blue bars show that there is adequate time within that phase to complete the task. Red shows that there is a shortfall. In this case, I can see that there is a shortfall in the brickwork shell. I can now make a choice as to whether or not I want to extend that phase. Doing so will impact the rest of the job as they are linked, pushing everything along. If I haven't got the option to extend the phase, instead I can adjust the amount of labor available. I can say there are two gangs of bricklayers on site, thus reducing the shortfall in total. I can go for the rest of the project, either lengthening or shortening the phases until I have the correct amount of time allocated, as the software is bringing in the time information produced by Estimator Express. Knowing then that my phases are accurate to the time required, I can then save the baseline. To do this, I'm going to go to Progress and select Store Baseline. I can then say that this is for all activities in the current project. Click OK. You'll see a black line appear below each of the phases. That there is our baseline. As you're working on the project, I'm just going to change the project details to make today's date July 10th. Click OK. You'll see the red line, which represents today's date, appear in the middle of the brickwork shell phase. I'm going to now go to the various phases. I'm going to set the completion on these phases as 100%. So everything up till now has been completed demolition, foundations, oversight slabbing, footings, and even the drains. What I can say is that the brickwork shell is only 25% complete. We're already, say, a day behind before the weekend kicked in there. This can affect the progress of the project. What I can do now is I can reschedule the tasks and this will then force along the remaining phase to after today's date. As you can see there, the linked phases after Brickwork Shell have been moved along, so roof structure has moved along several days, so as roof tiling and joinery first fix. As I've got a bit of play there after roof structure before roof tiling, it may be that I can bring them back and readjust them. If I was to have any more delay on the Brickwork Shell, that may start bringing in delays into the project that I cannot account for and will start affecting the completion date. As you're working through your project, you can update Estimator Express with the new time scheduling. So if it's affecting your material order schedule or your labor scheduling, you can go back to the tools and click to and save this back to the project so that Estimator Express reports now have the accurate time schedule. Thank you for watching this quick overview video on Project Expert.